Beavers. One thing we all know about them is that they are all brilliant builders, capable of engineering the most complex riverside structures. No crane or hard hat required. But why do you think beavers build dams in the first place? Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Stick around till the very end and you won't regret it. Let's get started. All right. The main reason why beavers build dams in different areas where there's a river is to protect them from predators such as bears, wolves, or even coyotes. But not in the way you might think. As you can see, beavers don't actually live in the dam itself. Instead, they are using the barrier to create a pond of a deep water. In this pool, they construct their real home, a small protective island or dome called a lodge that serves as a dry living area and food store. Beavers construct dams so that they have a secure pond where they can assemble their beaver lodge. A beaver lodge is made up of twigs, sticks, rocks, and mud, and has a submarine entrance. Well, beavers are very good swimmers, too. But contrary to prevailing opinion coming from the others, beavers do not live in their dams. What they do is utilize the dam to achieve an ideal milieu for their homes. Beavers like to construct their lodges, the nest where they sleep and foster. Inside their lodge, beavers have a safe place to sleep, raise their babies, stay warm in winter, and hide from its bloodsucker predators. Beavers are really brilliant. They even made their entrance work in the winter because they are deep enough underwater that the harshest and worst winter will not freeze them because it shut their frontal doors. Inside the lodge, they have a dry down area above the waterline where they can sleep in warmth and safety. These ponds are not only deep enough to discourage land creatures to hunt, but they also allow beavers to dig submerged entrances into the lodge. This means that if there is a threat in their colony, they can safely exit or escape through these tunnels. Beaver dams don't just create a place for beavers to live. The ponds that beaver dams create are important habitats for other wetland animals, including birds and fish. These ponds also help control soil erosion and reduce flooding. Beavers are a keystone species. This means that they are important to an ecosystem because they improve its environment in such a way that it also helps other animals and plants. Well, we should be grateful to them. Now, the question is, what do you think beavers use to build their dams? Beavers build their dams out of trees and branches that they cut using their strong incisor teeth. Their front teeth to be specific. However, the perfect pond to build a lodge doesn't often exist in nature. Instead, beavers have to manufacture these ponds themselves. They made their own lands, and to do this, they divert streams with their dams. But before they make dams, they need logs. Of course, these logs do not fall on the ground themselves. Instead, it fell with their own giant teeth, which are weirdly orange. This orange is a hard enamel. The back of the teeth is a softer dentin, which wears faster than the front, keeping the teeth sharp for chopping. So be careful. Once a beaver fells its target tree, it either drags the logs back on its own or it will transport the logs floating down the stream. It's indefinite whether beavers share in the pastime of log rolling or not, but when the logs get to the dike construction point, the beavers will either jam them into the slime of the bed of the floodway or pond, or else they'll get the logs naturally to jam like roadways. Generally, they chop down trees that are around 10 and 30 centimeters in diameter, but the largest tree that a beaver has ever recorded felling was 115 centimeters wide and 45 meters tall. That's about as tall as the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. A beaver can fell a 15 centimeter wide aspen tree, their preferred prey in just 20 minutes. This is impressive for reference. According to a Daily Mail article, beavers build a giant dam that would have made Hoover proud. The longest beaver dam known to exist has been around since at least the 1970s. The Hoover Dam in Nevada is one of the largest dams in the United States that took five years and thousands of workers to build. And it's less than half the length of this dam, built by a bunch of goofy rodents. While looking through some satellite images, 
the red arrow is pointing to the dam in both the image from 1990 and 2000. The dam does show up in aerial photographs dating back to 1975, but it's hard to say how long it had been around before that. It's thought that this mega dam was actually the coalescence of two or more shorter dams, because you can see two different lodges in the satellite images and to further control the precision of their pollen. While beaver dams are often found to be around 1,500 feet in length, this one has surprised biologists because of its length. The dam is located on the southern edge of Wood Buffalo National Park in northern Alberta, Canada. It is thought that several beaver families joined forces to create a massive dam that contains thousands of trees and must have taken many months to complete. The enormous dam measures 2,790 feet in length and is more than twice the length of the Hoover Dam, which spans 1,244 feet and can be seen only from space. It shows the skill of the big-toothed furry animals. The dam was spotted by specialists checking the size and spread of the beaver dams in North America. The warm-blooded animals use trees, mud, and stones to make a sort of channel where they can utilize their swimming abilities to dodge any hunters. The groups of beavers live in lodges on the dams and go through their days adding to and fixing the inconceivable constructions. In light of the wide arriving impacts of their dams, beavers are very important to the biological system. The dams are a significant piece of the biology and more extensive climate, and environmental change can be decided by the spread of the dams. As per some researcher, beavers construct dams to make a decent territory. They are exceptionally coordinated in the water, yet they're somewhat sluggish ashore. They make a territory with loads of water, similar to a canal around their lodges so they can swim and dry and keep one stride in front of hunters like coyotes and bears. Bear dams are likewise useful on the grounds that they slow the progression of water, prompting less dry spells and less flooding. Also, when plant matter kicks the bucket in water, it transforms into compost. And that is perhaps the most ideal way for putting away carbon dioxide. Beavers will shift the sort of dam constructed and how they fabricate it by the speed of water on the waterway. In sluggish water, they might assemble a straight dam, though in quick water, they will in general be blended. Beavers start development by redirecting the stream to diminish the water's stream pressure. Branches and logs are then crushed into the mud of the stream to shape a base. Then, at that point, sticks, bark, rocks, mud, grass, leaves, masses of plants, and whatever else accessible is utilized to fabricate the superstructure. Not only that, but their dams make the water less turbulent and therefore a better habitat for delicate creatures like tadpoles. They help control flooding and erosion, and their ponds even help the process of gentrification of their dams and lodges. All their leaves and twigs attract algae and bacteria that turn nitrates back into nitrogen gas, which is a critical part of the cycle of nature. Now what happens if the water level ascends excessively far in winter and the cabin gets overflowed? Well, beavers will simply fabricate one more layer on top. Beavers have been known to fabricate lodges with five or even ten stories. This can be extremely helpful. Regularly, the lower water levels are utilized by child beavers to work on swimming, away from outside risks against predators. In some rivers and streams, they construct entire dams so that the water depth is comfortable for their purposes and maintains its stability. So, there you have it. What do you think of the beaver's skills? Well, you should start to thank them at least. In fact, if there's one animal we owe an apology to, it's the beaver. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, check out our other videos.